Welcome to PetX Talks, pet experts empowering pet parents. Pet parents deserve expert knowledge and inspiration directly from pet experts. The topics will range from history to innovation, from health to safety, from training to philosophy, and from experiences to inspiration. The pet experts range from veterinarians to researchers, authors to historians, organizations to individuals, and anyone with important information and inspiration for the pet world. We all want to do the best we can for our pets and the pet world. PetX Talks, the experts who give them, and the topics they share will help us achieve that. Are you ready to be empowered? Then join us for a PetX Talk. This PetX Talk is brought to you by Pet World Media Group, your partner in all things pet media. Additional funding and considerations provided by Pet World Insider, Dogwise, and Life is Perfect. Hello, I'm Jorge Bendarski, celebrity dog stylist, and I'm here today to tell you the importance of grooming your own dog. It's not about saving money on dog grooming, you know, that is a good side effect. It's about your relationship with your dog. When we think about nature, mama monkey grooms baby monkey, mama lions groom baby lion. Grooming is the most raw way that in nature we show love to each other and we, we position ourselves on the social status. So while you grooming your own dog, your hands on telling him that you care, that you are in charge. But before we start, let's talk about dancing. Yes, dancing. Working with your dog is like dancing a tango. Let me explain you a little bit more about my tango grooming theory. Working with your dog, it is like dancing. You both need to move together, synchronize. But remember, only one need to be the lead of the dance, and that's you. So, for example, if you try to pull a leg from your dog, he's going to pull it back. If you're dancing and start with a massage on his shoulder, he automatically will give you his paw and let you work on it. Why it is important for you to know about dog grooming? We all go to the hair salon. I don't know how to cut my own hair, but I do know how to keep it until my next appointment. I know how to brush it. I know how to wash it. I know what kind of shampoo works right for my hair. So you don't want your dog to be walking around with a pillow head from the day you, he got groomed until the next appointment. That is why it is important that you know some specific tips on how to keep that hair flawless. Let me share with you some simple tips that you can do at home. We always hear about a ear infection or the ear being too dirty. How to identify it? It's very easy. The inside of the ear should be the same color that the rest of the skin of their dog and shouldn't smell any difference. If the inside of the ear looks like an angry man, that means that there's an inflammation there and it's something that you need to take care of. So remember, an open ear canal is healthy, an angry man face is not. Knowing how to brush your dog properly is not only about looks. Brushing your dog on the right way is the best tool for early detection of most grooming, uh, most health issues. The hair on your dog is the window to his health. When we brush in, we can discover scratches, a rush, a little bite, a little cut, an allergic reaction, an, an ingrown nail, and dirty ear. All that, when we discover it early, you can take care of that at home. And that will be cheaper on vet bills and much less problem and you know much less uncomfortable situations for your dog. So it is a win-win situation. Brushing your dog properly saves dogs' lives. Let's talk about the nails. Hearing that click, click, click around your house could be a good way to know where your dog is, but it's not healthy. Having long nails is going to impact his 
whole posture. That's why it is important to keep the nails trim regularly. I know everybody's afraid that the nail could bleed if you cut it too short. Actually, it's a little vein inside the nail that when we cut it just little by little, it's tied to recede. So remember, it's 365 days in a year and only 20 nails. So you don't have to rush. Number one question that every dog grooming gets is how often do I need to wash my dog? The answer is easy. Every time that your dog is not huggable, give him a bath. The secret is always use a pet shampoo. The worst pet shampoo is still much better than the best human shampoo. So remember, the more often you wash your dog, mildest the shampoo has to be. Knowing how to groom your own dog is not only about wash and cut. As you can have tons of fun with it. You can add a little bit of color with non-toxic products or even create a fabulous glitter tattoo with an easy to make stencil, a little non-toxic glue and glitter. Your dog is going to give you his wagtail of approval. Learning how to groom your own dog, it will make you a better pet owner. You know, who don't want to be the best pet parent that you can be? So it's not only about looking pretty, it's about the bonding process that grooming your own dog takes. Hi, I'm Robert Semro here with Jorge Bendersky, pet celebrity, stylist and groomer extraordinaire. He just finished doing a wonderful PetX talk for all of us. Jorge, I wanted to ask you, I really like the concept that you brought out, the doing the tango with your dog. That's important, not only that you be able to do it, but also so that your groomer can do that as well. How do you deal with that challenge? Well, you know, it's an easy way to understand that it's either a dance or a wrestle match. You know, so uh, putting it as a tango, it means syn synchronization. You know, it means working together. So it's very easy to remember. Absolutely. Now, the other thing that I think was so important that, that you brought out is the health aspect of it. Your groomer is a part of that overall health team when you're a pet parent. That goes well beyond just keeping, keeping them looking great, but also feeling and being healthy as well. Share a little bit about that. But usually your groomer is the one who's gonna pick up all those little problems before they get bigger. Like, you know, a, a rush, a, a cut, a little scratch, a hot spot, a ear infected. Why he can catch it before you? Because he's paying attention. So you should learn as a pet parent how to really pay attention to all those little details. And the best way to do it is to learn how to groom your own dog. You mentioned grooming your own dog, yet I know for many pet parents, it's something that can be very intimidating. How can we as pet parents go about feeling more comfortable grooming our own pets at home? You need to remember something. The, your dog doesn't trust nobody more than he trusts you. So it is on you to know how to do it, just to feel comfortable, and he will love you to do it. Well, I love that. I know you've also written a wonderful book that will help us pet parents at home, a do-it-yourself guide. So I love that. Thank you so much for taking the time to do a PetX talk with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining us for this PetX talk. To learn more information about Jorge Bendersky, visit planetjorge.com. Funding for PetX Talks is provided by Pet World Media Group your partner in all things pet media. Additional funding and considerations for PetX Talks is provided by Pet World Insider, taking you inside the world of pets. Visit PetWorldInsider.com for more radio interviews and expert articles and videos. Dogwise Publishing, all things dog. For all of your dog book needs, visit Dogwise.com. 
Life is Perfect, a gift book, a whimsical collection of themed dog portraits accompanied by wit and wisdom by the photographer. Visit thepotographer.com. For more information and other excellent PetX Talks, visit PetXTalks.com. This has been a Pet World Media Group production.